Alright, so realistic ground. First things first, hit A on your keyboard. We go X, hit delete, and now go to edit, preferences, and uh, right up here. And here in add ons, you want to look for node wrangler. You want to make sure this is turned on. Alright, so close out, and now we're going to hit shift A. We're going to go mesh plane, and we're going to hit S to increase the size. And now, now you want to head over to texturehaven.com, go to the textures and look for a texture you want. Alright, once you have found the texture you want, you can hit download all maps right over here, as you can see. So we're just going to download the 4K JPEG right over here. Wait for it to finish. Alright, now you want to hit wizard, select your destination. I'm going to go... So here hit OK and we're just gonna hit finish now now go to shading hit new click on your principal BSDF right over here now you want to hit control shift and T all right and now from here you want to click now from here you want to look for your textures so so here it is we're just gonna click on the first one hold shift and then click on the last one and hit principal texture setup as you can see this has set up our texture for us we're gonna change it into render mode and uh we're gonna go for an extra as well so so click here environment texture hit open world and we'll go for sunset xri now in the render settings we're gonna turn ambient occlusion on loom and screen space reflections we're gonna go to film and turn off transparency and turn on transparent now as you can see this is what we have so far now as you can see our texture is set up but here's how we can make it look even better we're going to take roughness we're going to detach it now we're going to shift a we're going to search and you go for the color ramp as you can see you want to plug the roughness color into the color ramp and take the color and plug it into the roughness as you can see and now we're going to adjust the metallic and the specular values and over here on the color ramp you want to mess with the slider as you can see we have a very nice looking floor texture bump up the viewports and now you can even Bring this all the way up. See, this color ramp really affects uh, how the texture looks. And um, yeah, there you guys have it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps you guys. And if it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.